AC Glass in Churchill, Tennessee. I've been backed in for a little while. I've got my trailer all set up for loading. I've got the uh, foam spacers, uh, the foam padding uh, onto the trailer, and I've just got my other foams for in between the different stoses. I'm getting six stoses of jumbos, which are 130 by 204 inches, which is about 11 by 17 feet. Uh, picking up here again in Churchill, Tennessee and heading to Secaucus, New Jersey for Monday uh, Tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. So I'll get loaded today get some miles behind me and then finish it up tomorrow and arrive at the customer And there is parking at the customer, which is nice. So uh, if I'm out of hours, I can just stop by. So this video is just going to kind of be a quick uh, showing of the overall process of securing and tarping a load. Um, the stoses have already been placed on the trailer by the crane um, and that process takes a while. Uh, this process is just basically at this point the glass is just enclosed like a picture frame to, to protect the sharp edges from cutting the tarp. So we use a canvas is hung over the edges as is shown here and cardboard v-board cut to various lengths. Uh, sometimes you have to cut it by hand and many times it's already cut to length for the specific type of glass that the customer has. So you can find, for instance, this is approximately 130 inches long to match the 130 inches size. Sometimes you can find the top 204 inch cardboard, but a lot of times you'll just take two pieces of shorter cardboard and fit it together, overlap them to provide protection for the top edge. A lot of times the glass is uh, damp, there's condensation on it, so uh, that's why you see me wiping off the glass with the towel, otherwise the tape won't stick. Uh, sometimes it can be very difficult getting the tape to stick. Uh, putting the front stop block in place, and later, you, later you'll see that actually strapped down to hold it in place. The straps are protected with fiberglass angles. Um, in this case, only one is going to be put on, the rest of them, and the edge will be covered with cardboard. Uh, in this case, a bridge board is being used. Uh, it's made of metal with rubber backing, so you have to be very careful when you place it not to twist it. Uh, they're heavy and they can hit the glass. But you put that in place. And here you see me fitting the strap over the bridge board. And those are hooked into hooks that are on the bottom of the trailer and just tighten down. And here you see a different type of securement. These are called poly logs. They're basically foam wrapped up. You can actually make them from scratch in a pinch, uh, tape a lot of styrofoam together uh, because that's basically what they are ratchet in place. So there's two different kinds of securements. And here you find, finally see me strapping and ratcheting tight the stop block that goes back to a stop block with a piece of two inch strap. And then once all the securement is taken care of and every, everything's closed up, then you can start putting the tarp together. And the first part is a skirt that'll fit around the bottom. This is on the DGL and DG type trailers. And then, just for repetition, uh, you can do both sides at once, complete both sides, or finish one side and then do the other. So here again, you'll see it done basically the same way on the other side. Now this is for jumbos. It's probably one of the easier loads to secure. There can be multiple sizes of glasses. So there can be the large glass on the inside, and then they might st stack large, smaller pieces on the outside in which case you'd have to step down and there are various methods you can use to do that but this is the simplest this is about the simplest loading situation you can have where the glass is all the same size so actually the largest glass is some of the easiest to secure and there's only six pieces so it takes less time to load it on the trailer in the first place so again here you see the skirts being pulled up all the securement is done it's all strapped down um, and many times you'll put a piece of plastic measured to length uh, over the whole load just in case there are holes in the tarp. 
This isn't always a necessity, but it is good to have uh, as further backup. And some plants will require you to put plastic on there. Um, and you can always save a piece if you're careful in taking it off and wrap it up. Now, I wasn't able to show the tarping process, um, but I did have footage of actually the opposite end. This is pulling the tarp back. Um, the process is about the same. You climb this little stand, and uh, at the end you'll see the starting point. But this is when you deliver. This is what it looks like, and it's a different time of year. This is actually shot up in, at a customer in Minnesota. You can see there's little bits of snow coming off the tarp. Uh, but most of the time, we in glass, you uh, load and unload inside, so that's a good thing. Um, that would be the starting point there at the end, and a crane would pull the tarp uh, shut, but the uh, process is about the same. Once the tarp is pulled, you can go to a separate area and finish your work. You can tie down the corners and then in a more relaxed place, get out of the loading bay, go to a separate securement area, and just finish up your work, tighten up the rope, get everything under control, tight, tighten down the edges. And then a basic overview, that's what it looks like. Uh, the tarp is all tight, so it's nice and aerodynamic. And you are ready to deliver to the customer.